today we have in our annual pumpkin carving contest where everybody can bring a pumpkin, take it down underwater, and carve the pumpkin. That's right, he said underwater. Because this event, an annual fundraiser known as Scuba Ween, takes place out there. We've been doing the pumpkin carving contest for about 30 years, and uh, the rules are real simple. The pumpkin goes down whole. When it comes up, it's done. The rules may be simple, but the reality is anything but. Right, pumpkins float. So you got to think about that when you plan your pumpkin. Make sure you get the right size pumpkin, you get it too big, and it's, it's like sinking a basketball, so it makes it really, really hard. And to... you get the tiny one, they're super thick, so you can't really carve anything in it, so it's like, yeah, you gotta get that right happy medium for it. Ah! <laughs> the newbies always bring big pumpkins. And some have additional concerns. My pumpkin carving skills outside of water, very bad. <laughs> so I'm not thinking that this would go any better underwater, but we're definitely going to give it a shot. Before long, tanks are unloaded, gear is assembled and checked, and it's time to get in the water. Water temperature, believe it or not, 74 degrees this time of year. And prior to everybody getting in the water, we had 20 foot of visibility, which for Indiana lakes this time of year is really good. That visibility wouldn't last long. With 25 divers participating, the water quickly becomes a mix of silt, pumpkin guts, and the occasional bluegill. Design and techniques varied, but the divers worked together to ensure that everyone stayed safe and everyone had fun. We have people who are always open to help each other, to train, to go out with them, give them advice. Uh, even like now, even though we got pumpkin carving people down, we have safety divers swimming around, keeping an eye on everybody, making sure they're okay, answering any questions they have, give them advice. Yeah, it's a contest, but it's a fun contest. This is what's really neat about divers, is it is truly a family. And they say, well, what do you have in common? Well, it's the love of the water. Everybody loves the water. They all want to go blow bubbles. They want to see what it's about. There's 72% of the earth that's water covered, and there's a lot of places to explore. After an hour or so, the exploring and the carving was complete. I did it. Now, all the aquatic artists had to do was make their case. And everybody's gonna vote, and then we'll slowly eliminate it down. There are three categories. Best of theme, best overall, and boy, did you really try. Yeah. <laughs> it's octopus with seven legs. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's kind of a self-portrait, so. We was down there in the middle of carving this perfect pumpkin when out of nowhere this baby, baby just came up, slammed through the root, middle of it, scared the crap out of us. We dropped everything and ran. So, uh, so this is what we have. It's poorly carved, and but I, I did it underwater. <laughs> this one is a classic coaster for Jaws. So not only is it, you know, spooky, scary movie, but it's also marine. Um, I think I'm just going for the Damn She Tried Award because damn did I try to carve this pumpkin. <laughs> and when all the pumpkin politicking was complete, the winners got the final word. Happy, Happy Scoobooween! Scoobooween. <laughs>